Have you ever thought about moving over to Waikiki? In this video, I will discuss the pros and cons of living over in Waikiki. Stick around for more details. Let's rock! Alright guys, today we're going to discuss the pros and cons of living over in Waikiki. If you guys have never seen my videos, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Joe Dejoa Prather, powered by EXP Real Estate. I'm a licensed real estate agent here on Oahu. I'll be glad to help you in your buying or selling process, or if you're ever thinking about moving over here to Hawaii. With that being said, let's talk about the pros and cons of living over in Waikiki. Pro number one, amenities. There's no better place to live around here than the biggest tourist hub here in the world. You got the Honolulu Zoo, the tennis courts and basketball courts, Kapiolani Park, you got the beachfront, and everything around in your backyard. But aside from all the shops and the hotels around you, when you live in that condo, usually there's some places that have a pool and sometimes a whirlpool and maybe a gym. There are times when you have your own place, you probably don't have those things in one spot. If you're a big eatery guy, there are some awesome places to go check out like Manukame Udon, Castro's, there's also Waikiki Food Hall. If you're trying to get out of Waikiki, there's Kapahulu Avenue, you got Lennon's Malasadas, Rainbow Drive-In, Ono Seafood to choose from, as well as a 7-Eleven down the road to get your spam musubi and katsu. If you wanted to get to the world's largest mall, it's only a half a mile to a mile and a half away depending where you are in Waikiki. And if you're in the mood for a cheap massage, there's also the Hawaii Massage Clinic that's run by students that go in for $55 for a 90 minute massage. The Royal Hawaiian Center and the International Marketplace are one of the biggest hubs here on Oahu with luxury stores and local shops around, including the Tesla store and their food courts that are abundant to many of the tourists around here. And because you're only a short walk away to the beach, it boosts your health and immunity. Pro number two, variety of condos. Now, depending on your budget and your lifestyle, there are a variety of condos that range from at least $30,000 to $19 million. Whether it's a small studio or a luxury townhome, there's always something for everybody. You got the stretch over on Alawai Boulevard to Kuhio Avenue. You could go and stay over at Anahau Gardens over on Tusitala Street for at least $200,000 for a studio. Or you could stay at a Ritz-Carlton where there's possibly a big condo that's going for at least $19 million. Pro number three, lots of great schools. If you're children or if you're in college, there are a variety of places that you can get your great education. You got La Piecha, which is right next to Diamond Head, which is an all-girls school, which boasts one of the best campus layouts here on Oahu, coming with an extensive arts and athletic program. Now, if the private school is not your thing, there's Waikiki School and Jefferson School going down on Kapahulu Ave. If you have someone in your family that needs special assistance on their education, there is also the School for the Deaf and Blind. And if you don't have the money to go to UH Manoa or Shamanan, you got Kapiolani Community College, Right next to Diamond Head, they have an extensive culinary program. And let me tell you, from my experience from years back, we have some amazing chefs that can guide you along your path to success and will help you work in one of the best restaurants in Waikiki or somewhere across the island or across neighbor islands. Pro number four, nightlife. After you're around over at one of the world's busiest golf courses at Alawai Golf Course, that's some amazing places that you can go check out and bar hop. You got Hula Grill, Lulu's, Tiki Bar and Grill, Sky Waikiki, those are amazing places that you can go and have a drink and have a great time with your buddies. For the family friendly side, you still have the big strip to walk around through Waikiki on Kalakaua and Kuhio Avenue, but also you got the Friday night fireworks at the Hilton Hawaiian Village as well as the Starlight Luau. And there are times every month on the weekend on Saturday, there's usually a monthly festival that closes a portion of Kalakaua Avenue. Where there's a bunch of food vendors, crafts, and some awesome music to go through along the way. And also, there are times at the Waikiki Show, there are great concerts such as Jack Johnson and recently Henry Capono and Friends perform. But sometimes you guys gotta look around. Pro number five, it's walkable. At times, it's not necessary to get the car around through Waikiki and through Kapahulu. You can use your health to your advantage and take a bike, walk, or take a scooter down to where you need to be. Waikiki is only at least a mile long and it's not gonna be that far of a walk. So, if you're at your condo, if you wanna walk over to the War Notorium, you're looking at about maybe a 10 to 15 minute walk, depending on where you are. On top of that, you can boost up your health and metabolism. Alright, that concludes the pros. Now, what are the cons of living over in Waikiki? Con number one, high HOA fees. Everyone wants to live in paradise, and therefore you pay for the paradise tax. No matter if you're on Kukio Avenue or Kalakawa, you're looking at HOAs for most of the condos, at least $1,000. And even if your condo doesn't have the most high quality amenities, you're paying pretty much for the proximity next to the water and right next to Diamond Head. And because a great amount of condos were built 30 to 50 years ago, there's always some sort of repair that needs to be done. However, that shouldn't stop you from living a piece of paradise. Like I mentioned before, 
there are always some condos that are ranging from the lower 500,000s to maybe around 200,000s. Con number two, lack of houses. As of the filming on August 2022, there's only one house on the market Waikiki, and it pretty much consists of condos around that strip. If you're looking for houses, go look on Kapahulu Avenue and around that area. Around this time, there's only been four houses listed for sale. Con number three, lack of free parking. Like I've mentioned, the paradise tax is out there. That doesn't mean you can't find free parking though. You can find it along the Alawai, but that usually gets packed up with some of the people who have additional cars that are living right in the condos nearby. And then there's also free parking across Waikiki Beach towards the very end of Kalakaua Avenue. But when that's gone, you're gonna have to pay a hefty premium on free parking. Hotels will charge an arm and leg, I'll warn you on that. But there are parking garages that may charge probably $15 for a day, maybe $12. You do due diligence, and I highly recommend using the Parklopedia app on your phone. And for a lot of the condos over in Waikiki, you may have one parking spot or you may have no parking spot, meaning you have to fight for street parking. And who doesn't want to fight for street parking? Con number four, lots of leaseholds. If you see some of my previous videos, you've noticed that for a fee simple, you pretty much own the property and the land. But for leaseholds, you own the property, but not the land. And you see why in some of the price points, you see $30,000, $100,000 homes that are leaseholds. And unless you're doing this for an investment, you're probably not going to be making an equity off of this. If you find something about the Almohan Hotel, they feature a lot of condo hotels. And that necessarily does not help you in your advantage because they don't have a regular kitchen, you're going to have to do community laundry, and they may not guarantee you parking. And for a good amount of leaseholds, you may not even have your own laundry at all. You might have to do coin laundry and maybe the building may not be up to your liking. And there are times where leaseholds couldn't last for many, many years, and then when the leasehold is up, you have two options. You can either just give it back to the landlord and just move on, or on the bottom, there is a fee that will help you reclaim that condo for yourself to own the property and the land. Con number five, it's crowded. When you have one of the biggest tourist hubs in the world, of course, it's gonna get a lot of people, a lot of rental cars, and a lot of noise. And sometimes, whenever something's wrong with the road, there's gonna be some closures going on, so it's gonna affect everyone going in, including you, if you wanna live in Waikiki. However, getting out of Waikiki is not too bad. If you're going to the airport, it's probably gonna take you at least 15 to 20 minutes, depending on traffic. If you wanna live near Waikiki, but don't wanna deal with the noise, I highly recommend checking out Kapahulu and going over to Wailai and Kamuki, which I will discuss in another video. Stay tuned for that coming out. That wraps up the pros and cons of living here in Waikiki. If you guys do me a huge favor, hit the like button and subscribe the notification bell. That would truly appreciate you guys' value. And let me know you guys in the comment section below. What should I do for the next videos? What are you guys' thoughts about Hawaii? If you guys want more details about Oahu or anywhere else here on this island, I am a licensed agent here with EXP Realty. I'll be happy to help you buy, sell, or even rent a property here on the island. I got my contact information down below. It's all on my social media platforms. I would love to hear you guys back and give me a follow. And that wraps it up for everybody, guys. My name is Joey Control Fraser, powered by EXP Realty, and I'll see you guys soon. Let's rock!